Hey fans, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Well, thank you so much for watching today's awesome vlog. If you're curious what I'm actual doing today, I want to talk to all of you more about Linux Mint, the newest version of Linux I have on this flash drive. It's basically um, 21.3 Linux Mint on this uh, flash drive itself. This is the newest Linux Mint, should I say, and I'm going to install it eventually on this Toshiba satellite laptop, should I say, but this also has Linux Mint on it already, a much older version of Linux itself, but this is the Toshiba laptop, an actual rebuilt, uh, should I say, to able to kind of give it new life, should I say. But let's go ahead and show you what it has. It doesn't have much of I.O. on this old uh, computer, should I say. But yes, I've been kind of monkeying around with Linux. I'm kind of new at Linux, should I say. But I'm just trying to understand what Linux is and how I can give this old, old computer a new life without shutting it away. But let's go ahead and boot it up and show you what it actual looks like. Let's go. This is the very old Toshiba satellite computer, should I say. It is the C655 model, should I say. And I am not going to be putting any type of windows on this old Toshiba laptop computer. And I'm going to be upgrading the mechanical hard drive to a SSD in the future on this computer itself, should I say. And yes, I've been kind of using Linux for a while, and I actually kind of like Linux, should I say. It's a very light operating system and stuff like that. And I also have the new copy of Linux, should I say, I'm going to be putting on this uh, computer. And it's just going to take some time to load, because remember, this is a much older system with a much older processor and a mechanical hard drive. But he kind of knows. He knows it looks like, should I say. I think it looks very nice. I've been kind of monkeying around with Linux for a while now. And in some points, I'm going to be putting it on my main machine. Because my main machine is not compatible with Windows 11. It only is compatible with Windows 10. But I know it's some ways to walk around that. But I'm just trying to figure out if I truly want to switch from Windows to Linux Mint itself, should I say. But I think it's a very nice operating system itself, should I say. I need your help with something, should I say. Should I stay with Windows itself or should I switch to Linux in the future, should I say. Because that's the reason why... I rebuilt this old Toshiba laptop to able to put Linux Mint on it instead of on my main desktop computer. The problem I'm having is with Microsoft is not allowing us to install Windows 11 on a much older computer, should I say, because I have Windows 10 running on that system itself, should I say. but. This is the reason why I rebuilt this old Toshiba laptop computer. Uh, it's really not a whole lot on the back. It was basically what the ports look like on this side. We have the LED and speakers and SD card on this side. We also have the power jack on this side and a DVD ROM drive on that side. That's the reason why I rebuilt this machine to able to use Linux on it. And no, I'm not going to show this computer away. I'm going to do some future upgrades to it. I am going to install a new copy of Linux and a SSD on this machine. But all right, if you guys and girls are playing this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave an awesome comment down below. Please like, please share, peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the future vlog. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Catch you in the next one.